The Mr. Shady Slim asks, I finally got an idea for a personal project. Even though I will be developing this independently, I would like to mimic the development cycle of the professional world as much as possible. Any tips on how to do this? Okay, so I'm going to read a little bit into your question. I'm assuming, number one, I'm going to make a couple of assumptions. Number one, I'm assuming you're building a, a web-based project. And I'm assuming the reason you're doing this as well is because maybe some of your interviews that you've had before didn't quite pan out like what you want. And I totally get that. And so what I want to tell you is how you should structure this and then actually what you should build. So let's talk about your personal project first. I know that you've got an idea. Um, what I want you to do is think about what your project does. And you should ask yourself these questions. Number one, does it solve a business problem? Um, for example, is it an issue tracker or does it, does it build upon a financial problem, financial services, or does it do something that the interviewer would recognize immediately? And so things that aren't candidates for this are like tic-tac-toe and kind of fun kind of um, tutorial type things. This should solve a business problem. So when you look at your UI, um, you should ask yourself, is the UI attractive? Because people are visual buyers. And so which means that they'll actually look at your project and if it looks good, they'll think that the code is good. If it looks messed up or janky, it'll, they'll think that the code behind it is messed up and janky. So like, you want to be able to make sure that it's, it's, a, it's super attractive. So get a template for it. Um, do th things like that. Show it to some friends, some families, and say, hey, does this thing look cool? And uh, if you get enough people that it gives you real objective advice, um, then you'll know if it looks good. Second, I think it needs to use some sort of database. Um, and I think so your problem, if it's not sophisticated enough to use a database, then you should probably rethink your problem and say, how can I build something that also uses a database? So it should look cool and it should um, use a database. The third thing is use an accepted design pattern to build it. And so one of the most popular ones out there is MVC. At Coder Founder, we teach ASP.NET MVC. And the reason we do that is because employers are looking for that design pattern skill um, in their development. Having said that, you can use React, you can use Angular, you can use something else that has the design pattern built into the frameworks. Um, but use an accepted design pattern. But now let's go talk about how you build it. So the first thing I would do is write a software requirements document to yourself. In detail, talk about the things that you want this project to do. So put yourself in the client's shoes and tell yourself what you want this to do. Write down all of the things that you need it to do, the inputs, the screens, and what your, your goals are. Then take that SRS and divide it into week-long sprints. And a sprint is some definable goals that you can achieve in seven days or five business days or whatever. And at the end of those sprints, see if you accomplish the goals that you wanted to accomplish for yourself. Finally, any kind of issues that you run into, log those into an issue tracking system. Um, there's a lot of ones out there. Um, Jira is the most famous one. It's also probably the most expensive, but there's probably some free ones you can find. And finally, and this is where my, uh, the kind of the meta strap for this is, document this entire process. And the next time you get an interview, show them your software requirements document show them your sprints, show them the history of how you built this project in addition to show them the actual end result of your professional business solutions type project. And so that's my advice for have. I think if you do all of those things, the next interview you get will probably end in employment.